Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm standing outside an engine shed at Goose in the Netherlands. This is the Heritage Railway here at Goose. We're going to go for a ride on this to um, Hudigenskirche where there's a miniature railway. So this is episode two of Miniature Railway Europe. After my last visit to a miniature railway, uh, the Stockholm Miniature Metro, that was um, Miniature Railway Europe episode one, I've now finally made it to Europe again and we're going to see a, a very different miniature railway, a bit more what you might sort of find in Britain, not sure what's going to be running on it, I have seen it once before, I've not actually ever seen a train running on it, so to get from where we are here to where we're going, as I said we're at a heritage railway, we should be travelling on a steam train and um, I can just hear the sound of our locomotive, um, she's over there letting off steam. See a little red steam engine and a few carriages. So I've got to find my way, but it says station there. This building here, this is the old goods shed. It's a restaurant, so I'll have lunch in here later. Anyway, yeah. station, and now I'm gonna go get on the train and we're gonna go for a ride through the Dutch countryside to find this miniature railway. There's our steam loco, she's taking water. There's a Hudigenskirche station. And have a look out there, you've got an estuary, look at that. It is just about still the Netherlands over there. But in the distance over there is the port of Antwerp and I can just see the cooling towers of uh, Dol nuclear power station. So that's all in the Netherlands, um, in Belgium, sorry. We're of course in the Netherlands and we're gonna go and do the first miniature railway I've ever done in the Netherlands. I really like our, li our little steam loco, it's quite appropriate really. She's come from Belgium and we can stand over here and we can look into Belgium. But now we're gonna go and ride some really small little steam locos, um, which I'm really excited about. So we go down, down the steps here towards the steam engine. The line does continue beyond here. It goes a couple more miles to a place called Barland. They're not doing that today, but you can only really run a uh, multiple unit. The reason for that is there's no run round loop at Barland, so any local hall trains run round here. But if you would like to see that line, have a look at link on screen now. Last year I was lucky enough to get a cab ride, so I filmed the driver's eye view of the line all the way from Barland to Gurs. There is our loco, she's taking water. We're going to follow the path off down here, and this is where we're going to find the miniature railway, which will be quite exciting to have a ride on. I came here last year, and when I came here last year, and like I said, I filmed the ride. I rode behind Sister Loco on the standard gauge line. The miniature railway wasn't running, so um, I'm excited to see it is today. So as you come down here, look, we've come to a really nice little level crossing. Um, I want to train to come on. We've come to a level crossing on the miniature railway. It looks like seven and a quarter inch gauge. Um, there's a station over there. There's another steam loco in the distance. We'll go and have a look at that. Um, it looks like over there some children and they're playing with remote control boats. So let's find a train and we'll go for a ride. So I think it's going to take us for a ride just around this little grassy area and it'll take us for a ride off into the woods. And then we can go and have a look in there. I believe there's some, well, I know there's some model railways in there. So we get to here and this is the station. There's a train waiting. And um, if you have a look, there's another standard gauge train. This one isn't going anywhere. There's a steam loco. And um, I've heard a few whistles, but there's, oh yeah, look, there's a, which way is it going? There's a steam train. What, well, that's, um, that's a loco from the Leek and Manifold Railway up in um, Staffordshire. I, th I think that's what it is anyway. It looks very much like that. I'll find out when it goes round. So we might get a ride behind that steam loco. And uh, here, here's a Dutch Railways diesel, looking a little bit like a Class 20. So we'll wait for the train to arrive and then we'll go for a ride. Hi, Cheryl. 
having had an enjoyable ride on the miniature railway, yeah. the diesel train is just coming round again. We're going to go in uh, Debuffa, that's where the cafe is. There's also some really nice model railways. Just watch this train pass us. It's been funny to see two um, British steam locos. Got a nice little roundhouse here for that. All right, let's go in the in here because, as I say, it's the cafe. But there's a couple of other things in here which are worth a look. Um, hey, so hey, we'll, what name? We'll go in here as soon as we can. Just waiting for some people. There's quite a few people coming out. Um, as soon as I can get in here. There we go. So we don't even want to come in somewhere. Everyone comes out. So you go into this. We've got a nice big cafe. And look, you've got one HL gauge model railway. Got some trains moving. There were some running earlier. The Dutch there, when we turning, even though it's actually a German model. And look, there we go, the train. Let's, uh, let's watch that come round. Stopped at the station. Let's have a look, see what else we can see. I think this one's going, but this looks like Z going to go. That's really small. See a tiny little steam logo in there. Now, if we go over here, as we pan around here, um, there's the cafe and um, a few shops. Things you can buy, and then over here. Oh look! I wonder if I press that. Goes. Maybe try and get another small OK cage layout. There we go. Down here, some Dutch trains came here on a unit bit like that. But look at this layout. This layout is really impressive. It's got a huge G scale layout. What I think I'm going to do? I'm going to film this and I'll put this into a separate video. It's, uh, it's a really impressive layout. I'm just here a train moving down there. So I'll put this onto another video. Um, I think we're going to do some line siding outside now. Non-stop.
While I'm down the other end of the line, doing a bit of line siding, I noticed something as I rushed, I rushed off down here to chase the leak and manifold steam loco. Have a look at this. So that's looking back to where we started. Oh, hang on here, train coming. There's a nice loop around here, so it's really good for filming trains. But it's always interesting. I don't know too much of the history of this miniature railway, but it's obviously changed a bit over the years. Not a lot of whistling. Um, is, is this the diesel loco? Like? I think it's just coming out in the corner. There's something I want to show you. We'll just watch this pass there. Nice friendly wave from the passengers. Look at this. Look here, the track goes round there. But I found some disused track. I don't remember saying this last time. The last time I came here, the rail wasn't running. So what I did was I, I walked the track. I must have followed the track and I completely missed this. There's effectively a disused station here. Look, the station building's still there. So that's quite amusing. It's quite amusing to see that there was uh, another station here. Um, and then it looks like the track ends and goes back over there. I can hear the steam loco at the main station. See, the main station is only just over there. Um, so I think it's probably time I started heading back. But I'll see if I can get any more line slide shots as I make my way back to the standard gauge station. Pretty good skills. So as the Leakham Manifold Railway locomotive makes their way back into the station, I'm going to go back to the Standard Gauge Railway Station. If you want to have a look at some, I've done some videos on the Leakham Manifold Railway. I've also seen a 15 inch gauge version of that loco in steam at the Bure Valley Railway. So I've got quite a lot of Leaker Manifold Railway related videos, both from the original track bed and in other railways. But here really was the last place I expected to see Leaker Manifold Railway. Um, from little crossings on railways to big crossings on railways, I'm going back to the station, Hudigan Skersha station. My train is waiting for me, so I really probably um, better make my way to the station. Um, and catch the train back to Goods. If you want to come visit this railway, it's fairly easy to get to. Uh, you just get the train from, if you say if you're staying in Rotterdam, Amsterdam, The Hague, if you get a train to Goods, have a ride up and down on this really attractive railway. It's, it's a really, really nice railway. And um, you get a ride on the miniature railway. It's a great setup. I could have spent longer there, I had an hour and 40 minutes. And for someone like me, even that wasn't long enough. We'll just have a look at our loco and then we're going to board the train. Here she is. Built in the edge in 1928. So I'm going to go and board the train. Thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe, and comment. And um, from the station at Goodbye.